Elimination week ends today. Out of eight rounds, at least four victory points must be obtained by each debating team in order for them to proceed to the finals. And with that said, all eyes are set on the seventh and eighth elimination, which is the last two rounds that might be their ticket to the finals. Who will continue their journey in WSBC? We will soon find out. The precedent is the pattern of behavior in so cashmere for mostly advisory roles and search combat battalions. Guess what? The Russian government can take over Estonia in a matter of 36 hours. Bow down to Putin's pressure and does exactly what he wants. We have confusion. We think NATO troops are much better suited to populate those strategies. Like in Ukraine, the invasion of little green men who didn't identify to any, any army makes defense a lot harder. All we need to show you is that the enhanced forward presence itself. You need seven days notice of a Russian invasion, which is just that. You need two days more on, on their side, right? Nuclear weapons in Kaliningrad in 2016, before the EFP came around, we think, yes, Baltic states have a heck of a right to demand sovereignty and defense. Putin is an expert in using his grievances, either real or imagined, against the West to pursue his own agenda. If we took the EFP away, he would simply find another way to pursue his goals. Yes, sir. Surely you recognize that the impact of troops carrying guns on your border is much more than the impact I of thought you, I thought, NGOs. I thought in the first half of your speech you said we change nothing. That's a real big leap from change nothing to cause Putin to become really, really, really angry. That was a contradiction. You really have to clear up, but at this point, I think it's going to be quite good. These troops that they agree are ineffective and actually stopping any invasion is actually going to meaningfully change anything, but also to avoid all of the harm that we can do from rhetoric. They may be sent some troops to the Russian border. Maybe they've gone through terrorists. On their side with the EFP, they have nukes in Kaliningrad. Defend them, ladies and gentlemen. You have to recognize that Putin is always looking up for easy wins, easy victories. That is the stance that we give you consistently on opposition. He doesn't commit the entirety of NATO to war, possibly nuclear war, with Russia. Tell us how you get that with the EFP. Okay, so is there a side saying that NATO should intervene in, in the instance which they, in which these soldiers lie or not. We still have a quarter of answer from their side regarding that. But secondly, we think that that shooting is much less likely to happen on our side for all the reasons that I've already explained. We didn't have armies in the first place. <laughs> we told you very clearly why that wasn't the case. That even if Russia now wants to take over the Baltic states, he will have to deal with the consequences of 20,000 Russian body bags. Hello, Pa. How are you? Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, all right. So my name is Gusti Made Artika. I'm the principal of Harapan Professional School. Okay. I would like to ask you a few questions. And the first one was like, um, I would like to know what does it feel like to be the host of the last rounds of WSTC? Oh, yes. Um, I'm to be the principal of Harapan Professional School. Very happy and very glad uh, choosing to be the host of a very special events, WSDC 2017, and uh, all of my staff is very glad to be the host in this event. So, um, what was your preparation like for this event? Yes, uh, we had prepared for uh, all of my classroom because uh, to be the uh, English debate, and then also all of uh, our school we prepared, and also our students. And we already uh, inform this event to all the students and also the parents of our students. But however, we see that these conservative countries would be actually open to integrate these people. Uh, because they would actually have the choice to prioritize who they uh, take in. So they said that they're going to help asylum seekers more. And we think that that's not true. They said the countries will lose the pretext that they can't accept refugees because they're based on a birth mockery. And we think that that's not the kind of thing the states should do. The states need to prioritize those who are more desperate over cultural assimilation. Where you allow where you create this notion that one country is this one culture because you create tension among cultural lines that no one would actually accept refugees and asylum seekers if they have the ability to prioritize. We tell you, and we want to clarify our example, that Poland had admitted themselves that actually some countries to take away the burden from them. 
we believe that giving countries the ability to prioritize with the context of the cultural differences, the cultural similarity itself is something that should not be allowed. We are not the same people. Because they are similar, they're going to be understanding the differences between the culture between themselves and people inside of those refugees. So I was wondering, what made you guys want to volunteer for this position? This is an international event. There are 52 countries come here all around the world. And I would like to enhance my ability to communication. I would like to enhance my experience. And their, their people are so nice. Okay, I see. And you, Aya? Um, first of all, of course, I want to have the experience of meeting new people all across the globe and study from them since they are so amazing, they're so smart, they're, yet they are so humble. And second of all, because I want to fill in my free time. everyone has been waiting for because tonight is the breaking night party. Right now we're at Chanang Sari restaurant Sanur where in a moment we will discover who will continue their journey into becoming the next WSDC champion. Everyone is extremely anxious to know the results but regardless what happens tonight it's all about having fun. Six 
wins and 18 ballots is the United States of America. 15 ballots is Team Mexico. It's Team Malaysia. And breaking 20th with five wins also in 14 ballots is Team China. Was it wrong? Breaking 24 with four wins and 12 ballots is the team from Ireland. So thank you everyone for, for allowing us to come up with this list of judges.